Hey guys, this is Desktop Inventor, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys my Tic Tac Survival Kit. This survival kit has over 10 items inside this thing, and it's really small and portable that you can carry it anywhere. So, I've wrapped the edges with some electric tape to cover the outside. You could peel these electric tape if you want to use. I've made this small flap so you can open it easily whenever possible. Okay, so the items inside this survival kit are not in arranged, are not arranged. So I need to get all the items out first and then we will actually I'll actually show you what items this has. So guys in one minute okay guys so all these items are out now let's keep keep this thing aside and okay, I'm going to swipe everything aside first we have knives so I've kept two knives inside this survival kit first knife is a cutter blade with a little bit of tape on it's one side and a little bit of electric tape to give it really nice grip. This is a really small but really cool looking knife. I've covered its blade with a little bit of tape. And the second knife is a sharpener blade with electric tape on its upper side and its blade covered with normal tape. So we have two knives. Then we have got matchsticks. I've got four matchsticks inside this packet and a striker pad up here. I've painted these matchsticks with normal nail polish to make them waterproof and then wrapped these four matchsticks and a striker pad with cling foil. You could use matchsticks to start fire. Then we have got a rubber band. You can use rubber band anywhere and everywhere. You can use this rubber band to make a small weapon to kill a prey. And there are many uses which I cannot tell in survival situations. So you have a small rubber band. Then we have paper, pencil, and an eraser. So paper could be used to start fire or to write on something that's why we have pencil pencil is can be used to write something on the paper and its shavings can be easily collected and then can be used to start fire you could collect make these shavings using this knife and just peel like this to get these shavings then after you write and if you get something wrong, you can use this eraser to clean this thing and make the paper quite as clean. <laughs> so we have got paper, pencil and eraser. Then we have dental floss. You can use dental floss anywhere. It's just like a small rope or paracord, but dental floss are really tough compared to other ropes it do not actually break but if you take them in your hand like this and try to break it will not break gentle floss are really tough and you can use them to fish up some fishes if you are near a lake to make the fishing hook we have got a paper clip this paper clip can be bended into a fishing hook and you can use this thing to fish up some fishes and then eat them then we have cotton cotton could be used to start fire because cotton is flammable I have sealed it inside a small straw pocket and cotton could be also used to clean up the wounds you have got hurt and after cleaning the wounds you could use a band-aid to paste in it I've got two band-aids inside this thing 
and I folded them to the smaller size and then put it inside. Survival kit. So I've got two band-aids for medical situations. Then the last item is a toothpick. Toothpick could be used anywhere. I mainly use will use this toothpick to remove the cotton from this cotton straw pocket. You can even use this toothpick to start fire as it's wood. Yep, yeah, basically yes. So there you have it guys. These are all my items inside the Tic Tac survival kit. So we have a pencil, paper, a eraser, a band-aid, two band-aids, a cotton straw pocket, a toothpick, a paper clip, a dental floss, two knives, a matchstick, some matchsticks, and a rubber band. And you can even use the duct the electric tape wrapped around this box so there you have it guys so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video please click the thumbs up button down below and also subscribe my channel for more videos the channel icon link will be somewhere here and thank you so much guys for watching this video i'll see you next time